Hi guys, it's Angie with Angie Makes, and today we're going to go over how to set up an e-commerce side to your WordPress website. Now, an e-commerce site is one in which you sell something. So for example, on this demo site, you can see there's a shop tab, and we click over here, and there are products. And you can add those products to your cart, you can view the cart, and of course you can actually check out and purchase these goods. Now. Don't be intimidated, this is not as hard as it looks. We're gonna be using WordPress, we're gonna be using WooCommerce, and if you devoted a good day to this, you could be up and running in no time. So, let's get started. Here we are, I've got this demo site. It's not looking super great, but that's okay. It's just for demo purposes. And I'm gonna come over here to the back end. Now, if you're familiar with WordPress, you know about plugins, and all WooCommerce is is a plugin that you add to your site that's gonna give you this shop portion of your site. So I'm under plugins, I'm gonna to go to add new, and then I'm gonna search for WooCommerce. And again, I love WooCommerce. You can sell digital products, physical products, there's all kinds of bells and whistles. Um, it's what I personally use on my own website. Uh, here it is, the very first one. It's got 6,800,000 downloads just about. It's well trusted, it's well supported. I just can't say enough great things about it. It's also free. You know, you don't have to pay to install it. Here I am. I just clicked install. Um, the only cost that's really associated with it is whatever you're going to pay to process your credit cards. So we'll get to that later, but um, I'm going to hit activate plugin. Okay. So here we go. We're well on our way to getting our shop up and running. All right. Now it's going to prompt me here. It says, Welcome to WooCommerce. Do you want to install the WooCommerce pages? And I always click yes. And what this is going to do is it's going to create, and, and it should have created them here. Let me come over to the front end and refresh it to see what we've got. Okay, it didn't add them to my menu. We're going to see why here in a minute. But it should have created them for us. There they are. Okay. So basically, the main pages that you're going to get installed are your cart page, your checkout page, and then of course, okay, your my account page, I, I never use this by the way, and your shop page. This is the one you always use. Um, the reason it didn't add them to my menu is I've actually got a custom menu created, so I'm going to have to add them manually here to my menu. You can see though that they are showing up over here. So the main shop pages are just where all that good stuff is going to happen. Um, where your products are going to appear, where you're going to go to check out your cart and your checkout pages. So let's just show you instead of me babbling on and on here. Um, okay, my shop page, it's going to say no products or it's going to just be blank. And sure enough, it is. Because the second step after we install WooCommerce is to really get things set up. So I'm going to come over here under the WooCommerce tab and actually the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the settings tab. Okay, because there's some basic things we're going to want to configure. For example, right now it's saying that my base location is in the UK. It's not. I'm in the United States. So I'm going to hit United States and then you can go ahead and choose your state. I'm just going to choose Louisiana. Why not? Um, I'm going to sell to all countries. I'm going to leave that there. Okay, now you can choose your your currency. Of course, I'm going to choose US dollars here. And that all looks good. So I'm just going to hit save. So we've configured some very basic options here. Now I'm going to go to products. And you can set weight. I never worry about any of this good stuff because I sell digital products. But certainly, you can look at this here. Um, this is a flyover demo, so I'm not going to get into super, super details uh, in all this, but this is basically for shipping. You can configure that. You can come over to your inventory here, and if you have a limited inventory of something, you can set your inventory. Um, you're going to want to click around here and just set some of these settings. Tax, okay, so if you want to apply sales tax to things, you can enable that. You can, let's see, just some good options here. Certainly you need to check with your tax advisors, do your standard rates. I don't think I, I think I did set this at one point in time and I do charge tax on stuff, but it only applies to um, 
depending on what state you're in, um, it applies to different states in different ways. So you'll want to check that out. Okay, the checkout tab here is important, definitely important, because what you're going to be able to do is you can enable the use of coupons. I do use coupons on my site for, on occasion, so I always have that enabled. I enable the guest checkout, okay? That means, now you remember on the pages that we created, there was one that said my account, and I said I never use it, and that's true because I don't want to force users to create an account on my site, so I just enable the guest checkout. The cart page is set to cart. Checkout page is set to checkout. Okay, I'm going to leave all that. Okay, now here is where things get interesting. And I'm highlighting it here for you all to see. Gateway, the payment gateway. Okay, this is where you can choose different ways for people to pay. And I certainly always use PayPal because it's easy. So I always click for PayPal to be enabled. You can also enable direct bank transfer. There's this Simplify Commerce, which is pretty easy to set up. You simply need to go over to their site and create an account. Now, it's important to note, while WooCommerce is free, you will incur some fees with PayPal. For example, they charge, I think it's um, a percentage and then plus 30 cents or 20 cents for each transaction. So it's a minimal amount, but it is still a fee. And I think with Simplify Commerce, it's something similar. So you are going to incur some credit card processing fees. The good news is that come tax time, those are all write-offs. They're all business deductions, but you will incur those fees. That's standard. You're going to incur those anywhere. So that is where you're going to need to spend some time configuring your checkout settings. Um, I'm going to stick with PayPal though, and I'm going to hit settings over here for now. And you're going to get some settings just for this PayPal. And I'm going to hit the check mark that I do want PayPal standard and down here is where you're gonna need to enter some good stuff and I'm not gonna log into my PayPal but I will put some details in the tutorial about these API credentials and where you can find those in your PayPal account but you're essentially just going to be provided with a unique string basically like a key or a passcode and you're going to input those here and that is how you're going to just verify and you're going to link your PayPal account with this sort of checkout with the you, your WooCommerce so that you can indeed receive payments and these three boxes is where that information is going to go so when you do put that there and again I'll put some some detailed information later on in the tutorial the written tutorial for you as far as where you find that so you're going to put that there and you're going to save it. And that is how you set up PayPal. For the longest time, PayPal was all I accepted on my site. And so many people use it that I didn't really get many people asking to use anything else. It just, it's a really, like I said, easy way to set up your shop is to just use PayPal starting out. Um, the next tab, okay, that's really quickly how to set up a, your checkout. The next tab is shipping. And I'm really lucky because I never have to worry about shipping. I just do digital products. But here's where you can mess with all the settings for your shipping. You can enable it. You can disable it. You can set a flat rate, okay? And over here is where you can manipulate those settings. You can even offer free shipping. You can do shipping based on weight, okay? So this is the tab where you're going to go to set up all your shipping options. Accounts, okay? This is, again, for people to sign up on your site and register an account. I don't really like this. I don't. I think it's one more step people have to do and they generally don't like it. So I usually ignore most of these settings. Now your emails tab is really a great tab because this is what auto emails people for example after they have made a purchase and it says hey thank you for making a purchase this and that. So you can enter your own text, you can add your own colors and styles, you can even add an image or two if you want you can preview how your okay so here's where you upload your images here you can click here to preview your email template I'm gonna click it just so you guys can see so here it is this is what it would look like if you uh, again if you're gonna send this as somebody completes their purchase and so that's what it's going to look like and here are all the different sort of email um, emails that somebody would get one for a new order a canceled order <clears throat> excuse me, a processing order, 
and so you can just play with that a little bit. And those are just the basic settings. Um, you can set them and you can click around here. There's some great documentation. If any of that was confusing, WooCommerce has all of this documented on their own site, but I'm just kind of, again, doing a big flyover of all these and I'm just kind of going over how I set mine up. And so anyways, those are the basic settings. So after you get those set, you're gonna come over and you're ready to add your first product. So under here, under products, you can hit add a product. And I'm gonna say sample product. Now, here's where you can select if you want this product to be virtual or downloadable. And there's a place for you to add your files. So that's how I do all my, my personal products. You can add your price in, $64. You could add a sale price of whatever you want it to be. Here's where you can manage your inventory of this product, where you can enter your weight for the shipping, and put various attributes. And then there's all of these settings. Again, I am keeping it way simple. I just do digital products, so I don't even mess with half of this. But certainly, it can be explored if you have different t-shirt sizes. You would need to add different attributes. And there's so many tutorials, like I said, on WooCommerce's site for that that I'm not going to touch it. I'm just doing a flyover again. So I'm going to enter a short description. This is a sample product. Um, and you can add images here. I scrolled down here to input my text because what you input here is going to show up further down on the page. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. And now I'm going to add some product gallery images. So here's just some random pictures I've uploaded. These are going to be added to a gallery of products. And then my featured image is the main image for the product. And I'm going to set that. Now I'm just going to hit publish and we'll see what we've got, okay? And I'm going to preview this in a new tab once it's done save you, saving. So I'm going to open it in a new tab. So here it is, our sample product. Because we put it on sale, it's got those two numbers. Here is where that description ended up, okay? So the short description, which I actually had to scroll down to find, which was down here, remember, is actually what shows up directly under your title and your price. The longer description, if I was just to copy a bunch of random text and put it in this box, you will see it shows up actually underneath all of this. And here it is. Your product description would be here. Okay, so this is the short description. This is the main description. Here's our gallery of images you can click on. So wow, just like that, we've added a new product. And you can add it to your cart. It, could, it should be showing up under our shop page. And it's not, which is a good thing, because I didn't show you guys where to set your shop page under your settings. So let's go back to WooCommerce settings really fast. And what you're going to do under general, I believe, there's a place, no, maybe not, under products maybe, there's a place to set your shop page to be your, and I'm going to come under general and then display. Okay, so my shop page needs to be set to be the shop, the actual page that's called shop. So it's somewhere, goodness, where is it? <laughs> I have too many pages. All right, there it is. So I'm gonna set that and that's gonna become my shop page. My shop page display, I want it to show products. You can also show categories and subcategories or show both. I'm just gonna have it to show products you can select how you want it to be sorted. Okay, this is important. You can set the size of your product images. Okay, so that's kind of a big deal. And then this is what is enabling that light box, that gallery for the actual product galleries. Okay, so that's important. Again, under products and then display over here. So now we should be having some products on our shop page. Sure enough, there we go. So, I'm going to show you really fast though, if I wanted to show products in categories. And I don't have any categories set, but if I did, it would be showing 
all the different categories and you could sort by categories. So let's go over actually, let's go over that really fast. If I wanted to add categories, I go under products, categories, and I can add say like shoes, I'm gonna add that product category. And now I'm gonna add socks, add that category. And if I wanted to, I could even come over here under my products and I could bulk edit them and I could say edit, apply, and then I can just add them to these new categories I've created and hit update. So now when I refresh this, I should be getting some, ooh, some categories. So now I have shoes and socks. I have these blank images because if I come back to categories, you can actually add an image for each category, okay? So if I was to edit the shoes category, I could upload and add an image. So pretend this is a shoe. It's actually a picture of a flower. I now have a picture showing for that category. And if I click it, I'm gonna see all the products in that category. And so again, that's because I came under my settings over here and I chose to display categories on my shop page under products and under display. So that is how you're really gonna quickly set up your shop pages. Now I'm gonna show you something on my own site that I did really fast. And that is under here I have shop graphics, pre-made logos, clip art, fonts, and you're getting just the products in these various categories. Now the way that I did that was via a custom menu, okay? So let me come back over here under appearance, menus, and show you how I did that. Basically what you're gonna be able to do is under here you'll see I'm scrolling on the left down to where it says product categories. Okay, all of a sudden we have those two, two categories I created, shoes and socks. I can add those to my menu so that and once I save it here, so that in my menu, all of a sudden, if I want to, I can go directly to the shoes category and click it, and there should be all my products in that category. So that's kind of cool. And again, that's how I did it on my own site. Um, that is how you're going to really just a fly overview of how to set up your WordPress website with WooCommerce. I'm going to link to their own site where they have a lot more detailed tutorials and certainly some of you are going to be selling physical items and you're going to need maybe some more in-depth explanations about shipping and that sort of thing and in addition to WooCommerce and all the great features they've built into this plugin there's all these extensions so if you use a third party for your shipping I know some people use stamps.com some people have an account with Stripe, which is another merchant sort of checkout that you can use. They have extensions which will enable WooCommerce to seamlessly integrate with those other third-party processing and service type of um, services. So anyhow, um, and WooCommerce, I'll, I'll even go there really, really fast. Um, again, tons of documentation, tons of great extensions. So I can't say enough about how much I enjoy using it, and I hope you do too, and I hope that you're not intimidated to dive in to get your main settings set up and start uploading your products. Selling online is certainly something that can offer you a lot of freedom in your business and really allow you to grow your presence on the internet. So this is WooCommerce's site, and I hope that you enjoy, and I hope that you're not intimidated to get started today.